Hey guys, uh, now, at the moment I'm, uh, I haven't jumped on this Carbon C60 for health bandwagon because I'm still looking into it, but this is a scam and I want to um, cover some articles, some people, I mean if you go online I think you'll find 250 Articles, scientific articles, uh, you know, establishing the toxicity of carbon C60. And only a couple that uh, say it's good. Now, that in itself could be absolutely meaningless because the people that are saying it, it's crap uh, might be saying it's crap because it's actually good. <laughs> Such is the world we live in. Okay, so we can't always depend on articles. Uh, that are, that are saying that carbon C60 is toxic. Okay, we can't, you can't, we can't do that. So, but carbon C60 has only been around for health, what, pff, last five years? But look at this NASA, the company that all truthers know the truth about, right? In 1991, guys, what's that? 9 and 19, just about 30 years ago, they were thinking about using carbon C60 as a fuel for ion engines. So NASA was thinking about using carbon C60 as a fuel for rocket engines or ion engines whatever the hell they are and then lo and behold years later see proposed to use the molecule carbon 60 as a fuel in ion engines okay so you could safely say that NASA has known about carbon C60 for at least 30 years and then lo and behold up pops they start selling I think it was mainly this Cliff Eye, Cliff Eye guy who I don't know if he's still got cancer or whatever but uh, this C60 is so good his cancer should be gone. Um, but if you want to read this article, uh, many scammers of the research uh, tells you about what happened. I'm glad Cliff High shed some positive light on C60, but most of what he claims is complete nonsense. Okay. Complete nonsense, and he's not the only guy that's saying that the C60 is a very suspect. Uh, the rats in the test were not all euthanized, except for one, because it lived for nearly six years, and the scientists wanted to round it off so the study could publish the article. There's a rumor they killed two final surviving rats. Extra virgin oil was used because it's a good song for C60, not because rats like to eat it. Now the rats were not fed on corn, in fact all rats were seen the same, no radiation experience were done. The rats lived very significantly longer than merely one third, they lived to da da da, it's not accurate to say that pulls toxins, C60 does no such thing, C60 is a truly universal antitoxin, being able to accept as well as donate. Uh, multiple electrons indefinitely, there's absolutely no detox, so that seems to be basically and uh it's a misunderstanding it's a separate dissolved chemical uh where were we, where were we? Let me go over here top scientist nasa can now control consciousness <laughs> and how do they do that i suggest they can control consciousness through the use people using C60 with which is a nanotechnology which 
used with oil, it goes straight to the brain. It's a nanotechnology, it's a superconductor with uh, uh, light energies such as blue light. They can then control your, well I don't know about consciousness, but certainly they will be able to control. This is a theory anyway. That they could control your the brain activity and maybe what you think, etc. But NASA has known about C60 for years. Look at this now in 2011. Uh, but they've known about it since at least, like I say, 1991. Uh, so that in itself, that NASA knows about it, and in fact. Uh, NASA grade, look at this, Live Longer Lab C60, NASA grade carbon 60, okay, so apparently when they bring out something uh, that's apparently healthy, everybody all of a sudden trusts NASA. And it's quite funny to see people even in the truth of movements blindly accepting C60 when it comes straight from NASA, okay? You even have, uh, uh, you even have uh, former NASA engineers, to two top scientists, come on the program to discuss the benefits of C60. Oh my god. I mean, hey, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm still looking into it, and I'll be looking into it for a while, because, uh, yep, yeah, because, uh, I don't, I don't trust it. And it's just funny how every now and then there comes along something that's supposed to be super duper, and we make you superhuman, and all, etc. Now, if you guys really want to uh, do your own research, uh, I suspect this guy here, who's very good, but here's another warning about it there, but this, you want to investigate, go and watch this Tony Panta, Pantelaresco. He is not touching C60, he's not having a, not touching it with a barge pole. Uh, go and check out Tony Pantelaresco's, he's got a lot on it, C60 following toxicity, removing nano. And I think there's some validity to this, uh, because, but he's saying that basically nano and tox, um, C60 with combined with the oil goes straight to the brain. It's a nano, it's a superconductor. It's basically telling uh, these uh, such thing as blue light and 5G, etc. And anything comes out of your TV computer, you're instantly getting triangulated, and then they can beam these blue lights to you. Well, you might think this is uh, sci-fi. Well, that's up to you. Go and check out uh, this guy, Tony Pantelaresco. Uh, you'll find them under many channels, because... Uh, there's quite a few people that uh, are obviously impressed with his stuff and they upload and uh, all his videos to their channel as well. Uh, another, I think this is might be one of his other channels, uh, Roy Mac. Uh, the main place you can find them is, uh, and also this one, Smo Love True. The main place you can find them. He's got so much information, you know, it's just incredible. And... The other thing is, guys, he's given it out all free. All free. I mean, he's a naturopath anyway. He's a herb herbalist, I think. Um, so he gets his money, you know, through that way. 
but as far as I know, he doesn't charge anything for hours and hours and hours. I'm, I'm currently uh, getting my way through a compilation of his stuff that goes for nine hours. Uh, he, he, you know, he gives solutions as well, and it doesn't just tell you about... Because uh, his basic thing is these uh, nanotechnology is not great for you. Um, anything nano that's inside you is uh, not good uh, because of the superconductivity of it because of the what he calls uh, what is it it's self self uh, self uh, poor, what do you call it self not self generating self when it builds it builds it's it is, like it builds itself, uh, self, uh, I forget what the word is, doesn't matter. If you want to go and um, watch this, uh, you know, nanotechnology can, um, you, you build itself, whatever the word is for that. Um, so go and watch that. Uh, don't just blindly um, accept C60, do a lot of research. I think he said, though, he said there's, uh, you know, quite a few articles, hundreds of articles, uh, sort of saying it, that it's toxic, but in today's world where everything is topsy-turvy, I wouldn't put too much, um, what do you call it? Too much uh, weight into that fact. I would put more weight into the fact that NASA has known about C60 for at least 30 years. And uh, now, these, you know, these former NASA engineers, they could be, um, you know, they could be uh, legit and they, you know, they're all, they probably are legit. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's just suspect. Uh, what's this? C60 induces patented C60 black sea capsules created by NASA scientists and live longer labs. World's most potent antioxidant. So, there you go. Just, um, you know, be a bit, uh, you know, dubious about it. Do your research before you go uh, wading into this. Um, check out all Tony's stuff because um, he's, like I say, he's got... Um, He's got solutions as well. He's got solutions to get all this nanotechnology, nano um, molecules or whatever they want there or whatever they are out of your body. So there you go, guys. I thought I'd make a quick uh, video about that. And um, yeah, I'll, I think I made a, I might make a quick video, but uh, it's like he's got a bucket. He Tony. Pantelaresco makes one thing he does to put the pull the nano nano uh, molecules out of your body or whatever they are the nano things. Um, you make a bucket surrounded by a uh, copper wire, um, attach it to it a little. But um, you'd have to go and um, I think his video is called uh, making an anti anti nano device. Okay, making an anti nano device. It's got. Uh, he's got a PDF file of exactly how to make it. It's basically, um, but if you don't go and learn how to do it properly, um, you get a bucket, uh, put copper wire on the outside, uh, attach it to, I think, I was, you know, put some electricity through the copper wire. Like, uh, obviously, the copper wire is on the outside of the bucket. <laughs> not on the inside um, 5 amp and I, you know but go and check it out uh, I might even um, get the PDF for that and put it under this video um, but if you want to watch that video of uh, Tony Pantelaresco it's called making a anti nano device um, he's actually got a couple of ways but his, uh, he tells you about the foods that all uh, he tells you how to eat stuff uh, that like uh, berries etc berries are loaded with uh, nano uh, he says and um, you know from the chemicals that drop from the sky from what do you call it um, chemtrails 
Um, so he gives away, he tells away to, basically, if you're going to juice anything, especially uh, berries, etc., what you put, would do is put a cap full of olive oil, whatever in it, and mix it up, uh, you know, in the, in the juicer, and then let it sit for a while, and after, you know, whatever, 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, the oil would have captured all, most of the nano, and then um, you pour it out, the nano goes sort of to the, the you know, the, you can pour it out in such a way that the oil and then that scattered or nano doesn't come out when you're pouring it. So there you go. That's one way. Um, grow, grow your as much as possible. Grow your food um, in a hot house or inside. You know, I'm currently growing um, microgreens indoors and uh, pretty much be doing that forever because uh, anything outside the um, chemtrails crap will be dropping on anything outside that you haven't got a cover on there you go guys i might make a quick quick video showing this um bucket that i'm making once you've made this bucket what you do is you put a i think it's two two liters of vinegar in it uh, once again i'll try and get the proper you know recipe or how you make this bucket uh one liter of uh, distilled water, you put, uh, say, a cup of uh, sea salt in, you put um, sea salt, vinegar, I think that's it actually, uh, sea salt, vinegar, and, um, and oil, I'm pretty sure. But I'll put a, I'll see if I can find that PDF and I'll put it in the link below. Otherwise, guys, start going, um, checking out Tony uh, Pantelleresco. I know I've been sort of, uh, not, you know, not very detailed in that, but, you know, don't shoot the messenger. You want to do your own search. Don't believe what I, anything what I'm saying here. Just, you know, do your own research. That's the best way. But, I'm, pointing you towards this and then you can make your own mind up okay